cold and flu season is hitting hard this year and trying to find some relief may be a challenge, especially when it comes to the right medicine to treat your symptoms. Kenneth Craig spoke to doctors about what works and what doesn't. Victoria Roldan is one of the millions of Americans this season packing doctor's offices in the throes of a nasty cold. Third throat, ear infection, as always, coughing. <coughs> Navigating how to treat the cold, cough, and flu can be overwhelming. This is our busy season. Dr. J.D. Zipkin at Go Health Urgent Care in New York City recommends starting with a base of ibuprofen or acetaminophen for aches and pains, often found in multi-symptom, over-the-counter cold remedies. They have a good mix of things, and they just do a shotgun approach to try to treat a whole lot of symptoms at once. But he says the most effective nasal decongestants for anyone except children or older adults are behind the counter and contain pseudoephedrine. Steroid-based nasal sprays can loosen congestion. Sinus rinses like neti pots and saline sprays may also help. Dr. Zipkin says cough suppressants may lessen a nagging dry cough, but... One of the most common mistakes I see are patients who get the combination cough suppressants and expectorants trying to turn off their cough and help their cough along at the same time. It doesn't really work. And doctors say when it comes to herbal remedies and vitamin C, they may shorten symptoms slightly but aren't recommended. Uh, Victoria was diagnosed with a virus, so while cold medicines will help relieve her symptoms, she'll still have to ride out her cold for seven to ten days. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And doctors say children, pregnant or nursing women and those with high blood pressure should be extra careful when shopping for cold and cough medicine. Jay. Thank you, Janelle.